And hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rise and Grow with yours truly Arcane. If you guys haven't played this game before, I insist, go play it. This is probably the most gorgeous open world crafting game that you have ever played before. You can do so many things in this game that you cannot do in others. Um, one of the things that I would really love to see added to this game that I don't see currently is like collecting berries but and being able to craft different foods and elements and stuff like that but let's get into this game and let's show those of you who have not played it yet what this game is all about so right now rising road is in alpha 0.2.1 underscore 37 well, of course, some a lot of those numbers probably don't mean much to you, but look at this, guys. We got a thirst. We got a hunger meter. We got, we got a canteen. Let's get, drink some water. There you go. You seen that went up a little bit, didn't you? Huh. All right. Looks like we need some food. Let's get some uh, lettuce. All right. Let's go ahead and eat some lettuce for some breakfast for today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We got some lettuce. Look at this. We got some corn. What I've been curious about most is can we cook this? Nope. <laughs> Who wouldn't love a bag of popped corn? So this is my house. I built this in the game. It comes with furniture. Um, I built a little custom stove for inside of here. The ceiling still needs done. Um, got blocks inside of here. We got eye beams for the ceiling to hold it up. We got beds, all kinds of cool stuff and things. Inside here, you can see I got all my food. We got extra food. Look, we can go ahead and bring this with us. I don't think it'll hurt. You know, because we're going to be doing a little something something today, okay? First things first is let's take you guys outside. And let's show you the world of Rising World. Aw, yeah. So it's a bright, shiny morning. No, my computer isn't the best in the world, so you're going to see little glitches here and there. This right here was a gulch at one time, and we built it up, and we turned it into our own place. We got ourselves a little bit of a courtyard down here, as you can see. I tried straightening out with a, some, triangle, some triangle spots and this and that. But let's show you guys around. Let's show you what we've accomplished so far. So... Let's start from the beginning. When we first spawned in this world, it was just a gulch with nothing but mountains all around us. We couldn't see much. We didn't know if there was any water nearby. But yet, we managed. And in today's episode, we're going to go over some of this stuff. You can see we get ourselves a little bit of water from right there. And also, we could fill our canteen from that same source. And the reason that is, is because the water in Rising World is infinite. Yes, my friends, it is infinite. You get some, we got a, we're going to add little homes in the sides, okay. We got a little hole, hole over there, I started to dig off camera. We got our friend, Wilbur. This guy's been here since we first started. He would not leave at all he, it was like he was just a part of the mountain so he became a part of our home and we built him a custom fence we built him a custom home so wilbur is our friend he's our friend for a long long time now if we go inside of here yes we got doors we got all kinds of doors oh yeah all kinds of block types we can build with blocks you can build with beams you can do all kinds of things so here's a list of basically all the blocks you start with okay now this isn't just a list of everything that you can do naturally of course my computer is telling me hey you know what we got to move this so here give me a moment there we goes let's close this out here for a moment let's hit e on this once more and bring you guys in here you can see we got natural ornamental tiles recycled metal metal planes metal but this isn't just it okay this thing says it's just, you're just looking at the stone id 21 right now each and every single one of these they all come in their own shapes and sizes we can go to the left you can see we got pyramids we got ramp inner corners 
We got ramp half corners. We got ramp corners. We got stair interconnects for corner stairs. We got more, even more corner stairs. Another stair type. Another stair type. And looky, this one you can actually kind of see. And if you double click on the image, you can see it a little bit better. You can double click again and it goes back. Now that's not just it. Here's another stair type. A lot of you guys might be familiar with this from Minecraft. But here it is, made out of stone. And it looks pretty good, doesn't it? You got arcs. We have ramps. We have half cylinders. We got cylinders. We got half blocks. And these things, they have a variety of three stages. We Let's go ahead and craft one of those up and show you what these things can do. If you hit the arrow up key, it'll go up one spot. If you hit the arrow up key again, it'll go up one more spot. And all those spots right there occupy the three spaces that there is within a block. So, isn't that cool? So, but what else is there? Well, that's every single stone block you can see inside of here, and then you can see it goes right back to the stone block, all right? You can go to the stone bricks, and there's a variety of all different kinds. Really good old stuff, okay? Now, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. That's just your basic building components. Now, we come over to here, to our saw bench, and we can make wood planks. Now, these wood planks, they come in all different things, all shapes and sizes. These things, you can drag, you can click them, you can build a house, an actual RI. IRL house in this game with any block being type. Now, see this ID 68 that you see over here? If we go over to this thing and we go to uh, when we go to wood blocks, let's look for 68. Okay, let's look for 68. Let's see where that is 69, 68. All right, so this is ID number 68. Now, if we look over here at the planks, look, here's ID 68 again. Every single plank within the game, every single texture that you see over here can be turned into a plank. Now, that's not necessarily true because you're limited to just so many, as you can see. A lot of these things you can do with commands. And eventually, hopefully, the developer will add all the textures into the wood planks as well because that would be a massive massive improvement here's beams now these are the beams that we use to build his pen and plus you can see these things right here you can build them large you can build them bulky you can extend these things to whatever size you desire you can use them to create a, a 3d model of a chest even though it's not the chest itself you can shrink them, you can enlarge them, you can do whatever you want with them. Then you got your wood logs. Again, they comes with the different textures. We built with these things already. They are really cool. Glass panes is probably about the one thing that will be hard for you to get. Okay, You can shrink them. You can enlarge them. And there's different types. Again, you can see there's ID 0, 1, and 2. This is your frosted glass. This is your... Let's see here. Okay, you can see this is like your privacy glass, and this is your windows. So that's pretty cool. I like it. It seems pretty cool. You got window frames. You can make custom window frames and still add the glass to it. And here's all these. Again, even the window frames itself. See ID 61. Okay, you come over here and you look up ID 61. Let's look that up. Up one more. Here it is. Here's the texture for the window. Each and every single one of the textures that you see inside of here under wooden blocks can be used in here for the window frames. So if you want a specific texture for a window frame, you could use commands for that. Now I'll be getting deeper into these commands at a later time, but for now, let's get on with our episode. And let's also give you guys a little bit of a look as to what the world looks like. All right. Let's go outside here. I got the game put in full screen for right now. So, let's go outside and let's take ourselves a little bit of a look. 
This is what I've built so far. It's nice. We got smelting. Oh, if you're wondering what type of ores we got, we have all the ores. All kinds. I put them inside of here. You can see we got iron. We got silver. We got iron again. Well, wait a second. That's copper. All right, that's iron. <laughs> this is tungsten. And you use these things for making different lights and stuff and things. And this is our smelting furnace. Now, keep in mind it only takes two pieces of coal to smelt an entire T of... To, all right, so if you fill this thing with nothing but one set of ore, you fill every single slot. All right, let me show you how this works. All right, I'm, just, I'm better off just showing you. All right, we'll take some silver. We'll take some tungsten. All right, let's hit this. All right, so we just take these and we right-click, place, right-click, place. And we continue to do this until it's completely full. And let's just say this thing is full. No, let's just go ahead and fill it. All right, I'm having a little bit of a trouble here. Give me a moment. There we go. It's in. You'll hear a little click. Listen. It's in. When you hear that sound, it means you placed it. Now, you can also pull these things out of here if you want to. You see that little hand? E. Take. Not half bad. And we just go ahead, we fill this thing up the entire way. And if you're still not convinced about this game, allow me to show you a little bit more. Okay, first things first, we're going to go ahead, we're going to fill this. Now, each and every single one of these counts as an ore. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to place this inside of here. Each and every single one of these counts as a single ingot. Alright, so we're going to fill this thing up. We got silver, we got tungsten, we got iron in there. Can we fit it all? And we got some room. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and grab some of this. And we only need two pieces of that. So we'll go ahead and do that. Close it. Let's take this. There you go. Now we got ourselves a little extra ore left. We could take that and we could just plop it inside of here like so. I'm going to take this and go like that with it so that if I end up with X amount, I still have enough to do this. Now for the coal. This is the big furnace, by the way. And as with all the furnaces, not a single one of them are different as far as the fuel level. You see how that pops up? When we look at the door, it tells us there's no fuel in there. That's perfectly okay. We put 40 in there. It only smell of it probably about halfway. Put a second one in there. Go ahead, close the door, and let it light up. And it'll smelt. So we can go about our business, do whatever we want to do. Do some mining and do all that other kind of stuff and things. And come back here. This thing will turn itself off. And the two pieces of coal that required for it will be taken care of. Now this over here, if you're curious what this does... It does iron plates, gold plates, iron rods, rods, all kinds of things. You can come over here and see it's just resources now. All right. Before you used to be able to use that for other things. Now let's move up the road here a little bit. This bench is the advanced workbench. Okay. You can make a steel axe with mithril. All right. Now you, there's gold, there's mithril, there's all kinds of stuff. You can make a steel axe. Oh yeah. Look how beautiful that thing looks. And again, we can double click on it to get a better look at it. Not half bad. We can make a hoe. This is prepared. It's again, this is just a steel variant of it. Your guard, your standard thing. We got this, which we still need to find some gold for it. Gold is fairly deep in the world. And a mining drill. Now the world of mine the world of Rising World is actually 50,000 blocks deep. Okay? Now that is from top to bottom. So if you plan on reaching hell, if you plan on reaching hell, which is an actual biome in this world, you have to dig awfully deep. Let's hit F3. And let's bring up my position. You see how it says 255? 
16 my y level is 65 64 and now it drops once more i'm at 62 okay you got a very long way to go to get down there Let's hit F3 again. Let's turn all this off. I really don't understand what all that other stuff is for. But I do know what the F3 is for. It is my cords. Now another thing you can make when you're in this game is you can make yourself a map. As you can see, I've done a good chunk of exploring. <laughs> this is where our home is currently. And this over here is our garden and our water source. And we're going to be expanding this. Okay, our base is going to encompass the entirety of the mountain range. All right, all of these mountains are going to be turned into one gigantic fortress. And then eventually what I'll do is I'll mine out all of the stone from it. We still have a lot to do, but it's worth it. And it's all, all, kinds, all kinds of fun. Down here. Now make sure I got my mining helmet on. If you don't have your mining helmet on, it's going to be awfully hard to see in the dark. Sure, you can take a torch with you. Let's make sure we select that torch. It's on four. All right, and here we go. Into the mines. Well, never mind that right there. It's just a rendering issue. We come down here to the mines. I've done a lot of smoothing down here. But if you don't have your mining helmet on, how are you going to find your way back home? Well, that's what this is for. Let's go ahead. Let's put that on our guy's head. And let's hit L. Boom. All right, now we can take this torch out of our hand. Here we go. Now we can see a little bit better. Now, I came down here in creative mode, and I smoothed this out a little bit so I could see what I'm doing. And you can see there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of stone in here. This ceiling inside of here is going to be going up super high. But don't get lost. No, don't get lost. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You don't want the monsters to get you. Ah, oh, nice. We're out of there. Okay. So, let's head outside. Let's take ourselves a brief little look at the road itself. We've got our little hatchet pummeling its way along. Chip, chop, chip, chop. What are we going to chop today? Ooh. A tunnel well this tunnel it leads out to my garden it leads out to where the trees are planted but we're gonna have to get away from this and we have to chop every single tree down in the game here we goes Just flipping outside you can see we got ourselves a little bit of stone in the way don't worry too much about that we'll be coming over here soon enough and this entire area is just another gulch. But it's not just any type of gulch. It's going to be connected to that gulch over there via this tunnel. And then there's good, this side over here is going to be expanded the same exact way. We got some trees that are fully grown. Nice. Let's go chop one of these things down. This right here is a maple tree. It takes up quite a bit of space in your inventory. Wow, that takes a while to chop down, doesn't it? Well, that's nothing compared to the stone axe that you spawn in the world with. You don't start with a pickaxe. You start with nothing but a journal. What's a journal? You may be asking. What's a journal? Well, a journal is what you're going to be using to get... Ah, I didn't want to collect a carrot. Well, these are all my crops. <laughs> you can see we got ourselves another piggy over there. Lots more trees to chop down. Let's finish this one off by removing the stump. Now, one thing you have to keep mind of, the more trees that you plant in your area, the more trees you plant near your base, the more, it's, the more you might have lag. Because these trees, they will wave whether you got the weather enabled or not. Let's go over some of these other trees. We got some birch. We got some maple. We got... What is this? What is this tree? Ooh, what is this one? Well, we got apple trees. We got cherry trees. 
And what, speaking of which, we should be able to harvest one of these. There we go. Eight cherries. Can we harvest any of these other ones? We got a lemon tree. Yes, this game got lemons. This game got lemons. Ha 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 ha. And look at the pig. Okay, the cow wants attention. Are you stuck on the side of the mountain, good ma'am? Are you stuck on the side of the mountain? Would you like a home? Well, we'll get to your home in another episode. For today, we have to eat. Well, that is not food. That is a torch. Let's just say... Beef is what's for dinner. Um, um, yum, 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 yum. Here. If I find some wheat, I'll feed you. <laughs> One moment. And I'm back. That would have been the FedEx guy bringing my medicine for me. <gasps> and looky, there's a fairy in the world. Wow. Shall we go say hi? Does it fly? No, it's a poster, ya dork. It's a poster, but I'll take you up there and I'll show you it. We could run if we hold shift. And look, it uses stamina. But look at this beautiful fairy. Yes. Yes. I love magical creatures. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. Now, if we come up here, this is the original path. Now, this is just the mountain ranges, okay? The mountain ranges are probably the best spot in this game to spawn because you got ores everywhere. You got coal. You got iron. You got copper. You got silver. All right here on the surface and waiting for you. You see that over there? You see that? That over there is the, uh, that's copper because it shines the brightest of them all. And that, whenever it's a dull color like that, that's iron. So, what's this little path right here? Well, this path is something we're going to be working on next episode. We're going to be doing a lot of work. We're going to be smoothing this. All of it. Okay, we got a big wall we're going to put up here. And this right over here, all of this, is going to become one very smooth area. Ah, the sunlight peeking up over the landscape to say hello and now as you come over here be careful be careful don't you fall Ooh, you don't want to fall in this game you want to take your time don't fall easy does it there you go now we should be able to bounce down level by level without hurting yourself until you come to areas like this but if you hurt yourself <gasps> don't worry don't worry if you hurt yourself, okay? Don't worry. I'll show you why. We're going to go up to our home. And we got something for that. Yes, we do. We got something for that. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Get up here into our house. There we go. Inside of here. Now, I've made some stuff and things. We should have bandages, and so that's our food. Um, let's see here. Do we got bandages? Page three. We got bandages. Yes, we do. So now, if we hit four, we could use this. You are not bleeding and do not need a bandage. Well, that is a good thing. That is a good sign. You didn't break a leg because down here in the bottom left-hand corner, if you let's go ahead, let's hit E tab maybe okay down here in the bottom left corner this is your health all right now if you hurt yourself usually if it doesn't say you got a broken broken bone or anything like that you can just munch on some food you know pick yourself a variety lettuce is usually pretty good and magic heal yourself right up with some food you know you didn't hurt yourself too bad and you can the most best part about this game, guys, is that you can sleep during the day, you can sleep during the night, you can choose your own choosing of whatever you want to do. We got these very large chests, all kinds of things. Looky, we got a scythe, a sickle, we got ourselves a mace, 
we got a battle axe and this little battle axe right here is by far my favorite let's go hunting shall we let's grab this there he goes so say we want to go hunting well you don't want to go hunting at night do you or shall we let's do some hunting at night all right so up here let's move ourselves up can we climb this mountain like a goat well we shouldn't because still it's getting dark out we might have this our lamp but still Sleeping at night is usually beneficial for your health. So let's go ahead and take ourselves a brief nap. As soon as we get this thing out of our hand. We'll come over here to our bed, nice and comfy cozy. Climb underneath the covers. My CPAP machine is missing. <laughs> all right so let's go outside here guys and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprint we're gonna sprint like no tomorrow we're gonna run baby run along all these clefts along where all the indoor housing is gonna be for the people who work down here in the mines oh yes let's just get up here now there he goes what we want to do, we want to climb this mountain. There's something up there. What is that? That would be a tree. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's take care of that real quick. <laughs> there we go. Tree out of the way. Let's climb. Come on. There we goes. No, you never, once you craft that map, you never have to worry about getting, oh, yes, that is indeed nice. Now, if you choose that you don't want to uh, game with your display on, all right, if you don't want the HUD, easier said than done, press the tilde key. Then you want to type in G, M, put a space, then one, no, not, I'm sorry, I am very sorry. You just want to type in HUD. And that sets your HUD off. And there you go. Now we should be able to hit the tilde key once more and it'll turn it off. Now you still get to see the things that are in your hand. You can game without having the HUD on if you choose so. So we could hit one, we could hit two, we can hit three. That is a battle axe. Oh, yes. Let's go see if we can find an animal. We've got a nice willow tree beside us here. Cool. <laughs> Did you hear that? What was that noise? Did you hear that noise? I know I heard it. <gasps> There's a piggy down here. There's definitely a piggy. So this right here is a passage that leads out here to a very flat territory, which we will be building a, a, a tunnel through too. Okay? I've come out here already, and I decided to flatten the land out a little bit. And we can come out. Let's run. Let's run for a little bit. Yes, there we go. Let's run. Let's see here. Looky, looky, looky. Oh, all right. We can hit four if we just want to get that thing out of our face. Just run around in the weeds in the prairie lands. Oh, it's so pretty out here. It's so gorgeous. Don't you just love the looks of Rising Road? We got more cherries and a seed. So what did we just pick up? Don't know. We can hit tab, but that inventory will not show up. And grab some cherries. It won't tell you that you've picked up cherries and you can see we go out for quite a ways it's a very large prairie out here very large extensively so with many many biomes and all kinds of animals you got cows 
you got the sheep, you got goats, you got jaguars, you got giraffes, we got polar bears, but looky, looky, where's the bacon, where's the bacon? <gasps> Okay, let's chase that one in a moment. Let's see what we got on this guy. Oops. Yeah, that right there is a perfect reason why you need your HUD. So let's go ahead and turn that back on. <laughs> so we can see if we're hungry or thirsty. That was probably kind of derpy on my part. So, you're probably wondering, do the animals fight back at all? Yes, they do. As a matter of fact, they do. You see this goat up here? You see this goat? Ram? Whichever it is. Ooh, that's an albino. Ooh, you're an albino. Four, let's get ourselves a screenshot of this guy. Hello, little dude. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's turn our HUD off for perfect screenshots. There he goes. And let's get ourselves a screenshot of this dude. Of course, the lamb wants a part of it. So we'll just go ahead, hit F12. <laughs> An albino. Yes. Oh, yes, you are beautiful. Oh, come on. Are you shy for the camera? Are you shy for the camera? There we go. Let's get a good screenshot of its face, if we can. Could you stand still for us? Come on. There you go. Let's get a screenshot of its face. Ah, oh, he's camera shy. <laughs> he's definitely camera shy. There we go. We got him. All right. Now, let's go ahead. Let's bring our HUD back up. All right. He's not attacking us. Oh, you want your screenshot now. Okay. Okay, never mind. I guess he didn't want to be screenshotted. And here's a water source. Now, there are so many different things available in this game, guys. If you have not played Rising World, I suggest you do it. Get this game. Buy it. It's worth every single penny. There are many more biomes than what you have seen today. There are deserts. There are forests. Very dense forests. There are safaris. You will find animals of all kinds. You got lions. We got tigers. We got bears. We got <laughs> elephants. All kinds of things. Looky. And there's some cotton. So if you ever want to joke with your friend or say something crazy, you can do that. But do yourself a favor, though, and keep some of that comments to yourself. Because some people out there, they don't like them. Let's hit, our, let's hit this. Let's get our battle axe, and let's see if we can get a cow. Because I don't want to attack an albino. Come on. Come on. It only hurts just for a little bit. It looks like he's headed our way, too. And we're running. We're running. As fast as we could. You can see our stamina going down. You gotta be careful, though, because some kind, sometimes these cows, they can bring you into a hole in the world, and you'll just drop straight down. What in the world are you doing? Ah, right, we ran out of stamina. Whew. Let's get some breath back. So as you can see, guys, there is a lot of stuff, a lot of potential to this game. Let's go ahead and return to the main menu. You can see building with shacks and stuff and things. Now, let's see. Say we wanted to create ourselves a new world. All right. We do a new world. Let's give you guys a list of the animals. You got bears, boars, chickens, cows, deers, elephants, fox, giraffe, goat, jaguar, moose, penguins, pigs, Polar bears, rabbits, a rhinoceros, sheep, and tiger. As I said, lions and tigers and bears. Got it all. 
even got vegetations, which you can turn on and off if you want. You can turn the animals where you can choose which ones you want to be here and which ones you don't. You can choose to turn the caves off if you want to. You can set the ores to low, medium, or high. Uh, you can, if you want world type, this is a super flat world if you choose to play with it. Um, surreal, this one, it, it's not recommended really. If you want to play with it, go ahead. But normal is usually the one you want to play with. You can turn to dungeons. It got underwater, underground dungeons, underwater surface. It's got cabins with random loot that you'll find inside each of these. You'll find water where you'll get ponds, lakes, and oceans. You can turn them on or off if you want to. Let's go ahead and abort that. So let's go back to the main menu and let's end this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you consider buying Rise of World. It's one of the best games that you'll ever find.